Hello, it's Natalie from Craftstash and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful thank you card using the Build a Flower Apple Blossom die set. Here it is in all its splendour. Um, it's really great this set. You get a you get different shaped kind of tattered florals which you can build together. There's some stamen there and um, leaves and um, they're really great for making cards. I've gone with quite a simple card today that sort of highlights the flower and how you can make that pop off the card. So here we go. So to get us started with this card, I've got a simple 15 by 10 and a half centimeter card blank, which is essentially half of your A4 then scored together. And um, what I've done here is cut one that's slightly short of the border. So that'll be 10 by 14 and a half. I've embossed that, I don't know if you can see, I've embossed that with a really fun Kaisercraft folder that I've had for some time. It's just got some really cool words on there, just to give the card a little bit of texture. So I'm using a bit of Cosmic Shimmer, which I absolutely swear by. This is my everything. It just gives you a little bit of wiggle room if you need it. Unlike, um, you could use tapes and things like that, and I've put a bit of PV on there to give you that wiggle. Just chuck that on there. Um, next step would be to curl our flowers. I've die cut the largest flower on the set here in the lightest pink cardstock and you should get your scoring tool and just take it around the petals just to give them a little bit of dimension which is fun. I like to use softer colours on the larger flowers just because it's a bit easier on the eye. I'm not really one for massive colour. Um, I've done the second size there. You can see it there in a slightly darker shade. I'm going to do the same thing. If you like, you can take some ink around the edges too. Sometimes that gives it a little bit more dimension. But I'm going for simple. I do like simple cards. So this is a foam pad there. I'm just going to offset them and start laying them up. And last thing, this is the smallest one, which I've done in the darkest shade. And I'm just going to kill those ever so slightly. And as you can see, I've already blinged the centre with a nice kind of gunmetal gemstone. I've always got black, white and gunmetal in my gemstones. That's what I'm looking for. I'm just going to stick this one with a bit of glue. And then um, I've also die cut the leaves. Isn't that beautiful? I've also die cut two sets of leaves here from the thing. I'm just going to cut those up because the actual flower is too big to have them underneath. So it's more about placing them where you want them. So it's going to be around here. Just so you get an F, you just get a little peek. And for the second lot, you could, you could go mad, you could put them all the way around. But I think I'm just actually going to have an accent to this side, like so. So the plan is to pop that down there. I've just stamped a little thank you sentiment. It's nothing too much, just a really tiny one. And I'm going to do that with foam pads and position that first and then pop the flower on top. So I'm just going to pop that about there. It's really hard to see on the camera how all this whiteness sort of falls, but it is a beautiful card. And just one last foam pad on the back of the flower to build it up. If you want, you can add more leaves. You can add more flowers. You can go mad all over the card. Or change for a birthday sentiment. And there you have it. Finished card. I hope you like it.